Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maddie Makeup, and thank you for coming back to me. I knew you'd never want to leave me. All this beauty, this hairy gorilla beauty. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we are going to do this blue, smoky, dramatic wing look. I really, really like it. Really like it. If you guys want to tell me what kind of look to do next time, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, and send me a tweet on Twitter. I'll have all my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, down below, my handles will be down there. And every product that I use on my face today will be in the description box. So if you guys have any questions about what I used, it'll be down there. Shoot me a comment, give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I already washed my face and I washed it with the Power Cleanse Daily Dual Cleanser by Glam Glow. This stuff is amazing. There's mud and oil in here and it just leaves your skin so soft. Like, it's amazing. And for my primers again, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Professional in my T-Zone and then the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer on the rest of my face. And for brows, of course, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. Using my nice little Morphe Detailer Angle Brush, I'm gonna get really close in there and draw in the shape of my brows. And once I draw in the shape, I'm going in with my Angled Elf Brush to fill in the rest. Okay, now that the brows are on, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in shade R300. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. But three squirts should be good, and I'm going to blend in with my beauty blender. I like to dot it around the face. And this is a nice full coverage foundation that I love. Okay, so what I like to do after I've blended it around my whole face. I just take the excess, and if you don't have a beard, you don't have to do this because you'll have all this gown. You could see a little bit of my skin through here. So what I do is I take the beauty blender and just dab it right here to get that skin in there. And then I just take a paper towel and wipe off all the hairs. So all the hairs are clean, but the skin underneath has the foundation on it for this skin tone to match this. And for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Now let's blend it in. Now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and bake my under eye and where I put the concealer and then set my whole face with it. So I like to take my Beauty Blender, dip it right in, get a lot of powder, and push it into the under eye. Now that I've been sitting and baking for about five minutes, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush, number 100, and sweep everything off. This foundation looks awesome on video and in flash photography. So now I'm gonna go in with my Hula bronzer from Benefit and my big fluffy Morphe brush and bronze the perimeter of my face. It has been raining cats and dogs today. I was outside house hunting shorts and flip-flops and a tank top, and then all of a sudden, it just starts raining. I mean, I'm in Philadelphia, and we don't have it nearly as bad as my hometown has it. They have a, they're on a tornado warning. Shout out to Dunmore, Pennsylvania. Right in Scranton. Scranton. If you know the office, you know where Scranton is. Now I'm gonna take this brush that came with the bronzer, and just go down the sides of my nose real bit. I'm not gonna contour it harshly, because we're gonna do a very dramatic eye. I'm gonna take it, put it on the sides a little bit. I 
and underneath. And there we go. Okay, so to do eyes, I scooted you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing better. We are going to do a nice blue. We're doing blue. We're going big. We're going bold. We're doing blue. B L U E. Blue. And to start off, as always, I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and get China White and put it all over my lid. Did you just see my light flicker? Okay, so for my crease, I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques 203 brush and the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Can we just see how pretty this is? I mean, I'm not gonna open up the mirror, actually. Like, look at. This is so pretty, and the shadows are right down here. With this Real Techniques brush, I'm gonna be dipping into this color right here, which is Metamorphosis. It has a little bit of a shine to it. I'm gonna dust off the excess and go into my crease with it. And a little bit above. Once that blue is laid down, you're gonna wanna go in with your Morphe brush or whatever blending brush you have and buff it out. There's no product on this, by the way. Since I'm about to go in with a dark blue, I'm gonna wanna grab my translucent powder and put it underneath my eye again, just to catch any of the fallout that might happen with the dark blue. Now you're gonna wanna take your same Real Techniques brush and go back into the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and grab, grab the color Bandersnatch. And put that right in the outer corner and into the crease. Now you're gonna to wanna to go in with a different blending brush and grab a little bit more of Metamorphosis and blend that in with the Bandersnatch that we just put in. And now we're gonna go back into the Jeffree Star palette with this e.l.f. blending brush and we're gonna go into this blue down here which is expensive, that's the name, very fitting. And we're gonna put that all over the lid. So first I'm going to wet my brush with some Fix Plus, go into Expensive, and just look at that, and put it on our lid. And look how pretty this like bluish green Expensive is with the smoked out blue. And we're going to go on the other dot, eye. Die. Eye. Wet the brush again. Go back into expensive. And go here now. Okay, so now we're just going to go back in and do some touch ups with Metamorphosis. And then we're gonna go in with this flat Morphe brush, go into Bandersnatch, and go underneath the eye. And then we're gonna go in with this Morphe brush from before, go into Metamorphosis, and buff out that Bandersnatch. All right, is it just me or does that sound like a really, really dirty word? Bandersnatch sounds like a bad vagina. And once that is all blended, go in with your Real Texany. I can never fucking say Real techniques, when I need to say real techniques. Always fuck it up. I'm gonna go back in with the Real Techniques 100 brush and sweep away that powder and get rid of the fallout. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Ink Liner and Trooper and do a wing. I'm not gonna lie, doing a wing scares the shit out of me. Because you could come so far and look good and then the wing will just fuck it up. And my advice is, Start on your weaker eye that you have doing your makeup. My right eye is my weaker eye because it's easier to match your better eye, which is my left, to the weaker eye. One wing down, one to go. I can't believe I just did that. To me, they look pretty even. Yay me, yay me. 
Now to brighten up my waterline a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Gel Liner in Exit. And do you see how that just gives like a little pop to the eyes? And now we're gonna go in for the inner corner with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I'm just gonna get a little on a little Morphe pencil brush and put that right in the inner corner. And to me, that just gives the eye a little mm. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and put mascara on my upper lashes. This has to be my favorite drugstore mascara. And for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Kardashian Beauty Skintillate Lashes. And for me, one pair wasn't big enough, so there are two pairs stacked on top of each other. Because I secretly want to be a drag queen. Get me a pair of 301s, please. And I'm going to use my Duo Dark Toned Lash Glue. And how I do my lashes, I blow on them until it gets a little tacky. And then I just pop them on. Okay, so I scooted you guys back out and I added top lashes and bottom mascara. And I added just a teensy bit of highlight from the Becca Jaclyn Hill collab palette. And I added on Champagne Pop. Okay, so I scooted you guys back out, added top lashes and bottom mascara. Then I went and added just a teensy tiny bit of blush. The blush I added was from the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and I used the middle color right here, Amaretto. And then for highlight, I added Champagne Pop and I Champagne Poppin'. I'll go home now. Now the only thing that's left to do is add some lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. My favorite nude right now is Mannequin. And I already pre-scrubbed my lid. I already pre-scrubbed my lips with... Lips, yeah. Because I have fucking limbs on my face. I pre-scrubbed my lips with the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. So now I'm gonna go in, shake the Jeffree Star one a bit, and add that to my lips. Make sure my mustache is out of the way. Okay, and while the lips are still drying, I'm gonna go back into the back of Jaclyn Hill palette. And with my finger, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Champagne Pop, put it right in the middle of my lips. See how that just gives a little pop of the lip? Now I just need to go in with my setting sprays in Fix Plus by MAC and my Urban Decay All Nighter. Whew. I feel like SeaWorld and I love it. Okay, so that's it for this look. I feel like I really like it. Like, I like really like it. No, it's not an everyday look. Well, it could be an everyday look for some people. Who knows? If you like blue, wear some blue eyeshadow. I think it's really, really pretty. I don't know what you guys think. But if you like it, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what other kind of looks you would like. Subscribe to my channel before you leave and like this video. Thank you and come again.